So that leads us to the ratio test. Here, we can look at the limit as n goes to infinity. Sorry for probably let the summation of a, a n be any series and suppose that the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a n plus one over a n is equal to rho. This is the Greek letter rho. It is not the letter P, but it kind of looks like it. And it's rho, like row, row, row your boat, although it's spelled differently. Uh, and here, if we have this situation, this series converges absolutely if rho is less than 1. It diverges if rho is greater than 1 or rho uh, is infinite. And I didn't spell that right. Go back in. Infinite. And the test is inconclusive if rho equals 1. Okay, so there's our ratio test for this. So let's go ahead and take a look. Example 2, investigate the convergence of the following series. So here we have 2 to the n plus 5 over 3 to the n from n equals 1 to 0, so our summation there. So let's try. Let's look at the absolute value of 2 to the n plus 5 over 3 to the n. I'm sorry. There should have been n plus 1s. Plus 1 plus 1 over 2 to the n plus 5 over 3 to the n. So absolute value in that whole thing. And then this is going to equal uh, 2 to the n plus 1 plus 5 over 3. 3 to the n plus 1 times 3 to the n over 2 to the n plus 5. And that's going to, uh, we can do it like this. We can do 3 to the n over 3 to the n plus 1 times 2 to the n plus 1 plus 5 over 2 to the n plus 5. So if we look at 3 to the n over 3 to the n plus 1, that means whatever n is. If n is, uh, if n is a million, then 3 to the n plus 1 is a million and 1. And so you're going to end up with just a 3 in the denominator. So we always have one more n in the denominator than in the numerator. Or not one more n, one more 3. Sorry. And so we end up with one third there. For the next part, uh, what I'm going to do with that one is I'm actually going to multiply the top and the bottom by 1, but we're going to do it as 1 over 2 to the n, 1 over 2 to the n, and we'll get this 1 third times, and we'll have 2, because 2 to the n plus 1 over 2 to the n is just 2, plus 5 over 2 to the n, over 1, 2 to the n over 2 to the n, plus 5 over 2 uh, to the n. And then that, I'm going to go to 1 third. And what we basically end up with as we take our limit here is we're going to take and end up with 2 plus 0 over 1 plus 0. So nothing we haven't done before. That's going to give us 2 thirds which is going to be what rho is, and which is less than 1, and therefore uh, converges, the series converges absolutely. So the next one, if you take a look at that one, uh, I th think we'll go ahead and do that one, and let's go ahead and give it a try. So let's do the absolute value of 2 times n plus 1 factorial over n factorial times n factorial, that's n plus 1 factorial times n plus 1 factorial. Oop, not my absolute value symbol, sorry. We're going to divide that 
by the same one again, but instead of divide, I'm going to just multiply by the reciprocal, which means I'm going to have n factorial, n factorial over 2n factorial. And so what we end up with here is we can put that 2 through. We have 2n plus 2, all factorial. And then we've got n plus 1 factorial, n plus 1 factorial times n factorial, n factorial over 2n factorial. And so this one, we can do some rearranging. Oh, I didn't close my absolute value there. But we can get this to be uh, 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1 times 2n factorial. And so that's the 2n plus 2. In other words, this is just this. Kind of like if I said I had uh, 5 factorial and I made it equal to 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Okay, And so then I can kind of take out those first couple of terms like that. And then, uh, oh, put that back, factorial, I'll leave that. I want to get rid of the... Okay, and so then we're going to divide by, we have n plus 1 factorial, and we can make that n plus 1 times n factorial times n plus 1 times n factorial, and then that still times our n factorial, n factorial over 2n factorial. And by doing that, we now see that this will cancel with that. And we see that these factorials will cancel with these two. And this ultimately becomes 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1 over n plus 1 times n plus 1, and, <clears throat> sorry, we could go ahead and factor out here. We'll get a 2 times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over n plus 1 times n plus 1. And now that can cancel with that. And we'll go 2 times 2n plus 1 over n plus 1. And that's going to equal 4n plus 2 over n plus 1. And then that will go to, as we take our limit, is going to go to 4. 4 over 1. So 4, which is our row value. And that means that 4 equals rho, which is greater than 1, and therefore it diverges. Okay? Um, if you're having a little bit of issues with these factorials, uh, you might want to just do a little practicing with them. It's kind of a, you just kind of have to learn how to think about them uh, so that you can do this sort of thing with them. It's a pretty good skill to have to make sure you're, you're not messing these things up. Uh, the next one, I think I'll leave out of the video, but I'll put it in the notes online uh, so you can at least check your answer. I, I might just write the answer, and then if someone asks me about it, then maybe I'll work it out or something, but uh, I'll at least put it in there for you to check your answer with. So let's go ahead and go on to the root test. And... In the root test, we can let uh, a summation on A there uh, be any series, and then we'll suppose that the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a n 
equals rho. And then, if that's the case, we see the ser series converges absolutely if rho is less than 1. The series diverges if rho is greater than 1 or rho is infinity. And the test is inconclusive if, again, you probably guessed it, rho equals 1. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We're going to investigate the convergence of the following series. So let's go ahead and try it with this test. And we're going to have the nth root of the absolute value of n squared over 2 to the n. And this is going to equal n n squared, I mean we're squaring it, so no matter what, it's going to end up being positive. And then here, we'll have the nth root of 2 to the n, which uh, no matter what we put in for n, uh, we're going to get a positive number because our base there is positive. And so this will give us n to the 2 over n, nth root, to 2 to the n over n, which is just going to be 2, kind of like the square root of 2 squared. And so we end up with n to the 1 over n squared over 2. And if you look at that, uh, this is going to go to being infinity to the 0 over 2. Uh, and so we're going to get equals one half, and so rho equals one half, which is less than one, uh, therefore the series converges absolutely. Okay? So let's take a look at um, at the next one here. Uh, just, I guess, in case you were wondering or you wanted to think about this, the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of n is going to equal 1. Okay? So I have like a little side there for you. All right, let's take a look at the next one here. We have 2 to the n, or our summation is n from n equals 1 to infinity of 2 to the n over n cubed. So let's try this. Square root of n, 2 to the n over n cubed, absolute value. Uh, this can give us, uh, this is going to be the square root of 2 to the n. So it's, or the, the nth root of 2 to the n. So we're going to have just a 2 in the numerator. But in the denominator, we're going to get n to the 3 over n. Okay? And then if we take our limit as n goes to infinity, we're going to get with 2 over 1. This is equal to 2. This is greater than 1. And so it diverges. Okay. Just that easy. And then here's the last one. I will leave it for you to try, uh, but you'll be able to find it completed in the notes for you. All right, that was it.